Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take an in-depth look at the Cox TG2472 Internet Voice 3.0 Panoramic Wi-Fi Gateway User Manual. In your kit. Power cord. Coax cable. Gateway. Ethernet cable. Front and back view. After the cable modem is successfully registered on the network, the power, USDS, and online indicators continuously indicate that the cable modem is online and fully operational. Resetting to factory settings. Connecting landline phones fax machines tell 1 to 2. Wiring devices to the internet ethernet 1 to 4. Connecting to cable internet cable. Powering the modem. What you'll need. Smartphone, tablet, or computer. Rear panel modem lights. Plug in the gateway. First, connect the coax cable to an active cable outlet and the coax port on the gateway. Then connect the power cord to an electrical outlet and to the power port on the gateway. Make sure the gateway's power cord is unplugged into an electrical outlet that's connected to a dimmer. Now that it's plugged in and powered on, wait a few minutes for it to boot up. You'll know it's connected to the network when the online light is solid. Optional, if you have Cox phone service, then connect your telephone cable to your phone in the TEL1 port on the back of the gateway. Connect to the network. Open the Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Connect to the network using the network name SSID and the pre-shared key which is the password from the label on the bottom of the gateway. Once it's connected, surf the web to verify that your internet is good to go. Tips Customer support. Troubleshootings. Warnings For more updates subscribe to our channel.